What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 here on the PC. And we're we're what's the name of this map? Lakeland Vale by Stevie. How's everybody doing? Welcome and welcome in, guys. Today, guys, as you can tell by the fields, we have turned everything back over. Don't mind the don't mind the tracks in the field that was from cleaning up bales. And Carson, before you can make your comment, there is a bale sitting over here. I forgot about it. I somehow missed it when I was collecting bales. I will take care of that sometime later because we're probably going to do cotton again here in a week or two uh, real time. So we'll work on that. But right now, we need to spend our money, guys. You can see we do have uh, just over $2 million. $2 million 44. Okay, so we need to make sure we need to repay. Let's repay our loan. We're going to come in at like 1.9 and some change. I'm cool with that. So we'll repay the loan. First things first, uh, there were two comments about combines. One was try and one was John Deere. So what if we compromise? Compromise and make a John Deere. <laughs> a John Deere try bind, just like we have on the server. We do have this basically the uh, uh, same combine on the server. So there's that. And we're going to go ahead and we'll put GPS on it. We may run this manually uh, from time to time. You never know. Oh, I want to go 40 miles an hour. Actually, you know what? I don't want to spend the money on it. Long pipe. And uh, it doesn't really matter. All right. We'll buy that. The only problem with tripod is that it's spendy. A little spendy. All right, we'll grab a tri buying green head for now. And of course, we'll make that the deer green. Okay. We're close enough to it. That's another 100 grand gone. So there's our 761,400 <laughs> combine. That's spendy, boys. All right, click there. Like there, there we go. Now the, this is kind of a weird mod. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the best mod out there, but it's pretty great at getting crops off the field. You know, I'm just saying it's pretty great at getting crop off the field guys. It really is. So we have been using this multiplayer. We have been using this multiplayer on the server and it's been great. It's been a really good addition to the server. Uh, it's not great on the keyboard because you're kind of wibble wobbly, but overall, it's not a bad, not a bad combine, not a bad mod. I mean, it needs some work, but it's not terrible. I think half the issue is you have like it's articulated plus the rear wheels steer and therefore it's just kind of awkward, you know? I'm just saying it's a little awkward with uh, with both things happening, you know, so there is that, but it's okay. It's okay. So we'll have a try by now, guys. Got pretty decent lighting and stuff. A pretty awesome mod, not gonna lie. Big, big behemoth here on the farm, guys. Uh, probably only ever gonna run one of these on this farm. We shall see. You never know, but probably only gonna run one. All right, so let's put it away. Cause actually, let's before we put that away, we need to buy a cedar. We need to buy some kind of cedar, guys. I really need to up my seeding game. Everything else is okay. I need to up my cedar game. And I do have these modded K cedars. This would be pretty good right here. We could three meters holds 400 liters. That looks pretty. Never mind. Not uh, play that joke out. I've played it once or twice. All right. So 12 meters or 18. I have not actually used this case, but I would assume it's okay. Cause it, these are mats or mods from Matt. So I would assume this is going to be a pretty good uh, cedar. Um, that was only 12 meters. I don't really want to go to a Borgo. I mean, there's a play, but like, well, these, let's try this case out. If we waste money, we waste money. You know, that's really all it, all it is. Oh, I don't know which one we need. What do we actually need? I don't even know. Probably depends on your cart here or your cedar. So that looks like it'll take. Is the other one different? They're both the same. 
Hmm, we may have to change. I don't know which one we're gonna need. Okay, so there's 200k for that. And then the cart for it. Oh, it looks like you can hook up, you could hook up multiple of these carts if you want with that hitch. I think we need to go with this hitch. Oh, tr tracks. Yes, please. I think we gotta go with that, right? I think so. We'll know real fast if that's not right. All right, so that cedar is gonna take 475 horsepower and I'm gonna guess off the top of my head by looking here, we don't have 475 horsepower, which means need a tractor. Need a tractor. And by the way, I figured a uh, couple comments like Rob, I know, I think you left one of them about TV. Yeah, not a lot of the audience I would say is gonna be watching a lot of TV. Uh, just because, you know, you guys are more the internet folk like I am these days. I'm just saying. But it's fun to sit down and watch some TV. Like I was talking about, I'm kind of excited for Big Brother. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of excited for that. Okay, so this one would do it, but like just barely. I love this tractor. I got to get one of these back on the farm. I do. Um, I'm wondering if we go, since it's case, I don't know if the case is going to match. But, you know, like, like 692, this is quad track. This is stock in game, you know, or is this one? Game? Yeah, this is stock in game. That's lame. Let's go with the modded one. <laughs> Let's go with the modded one. Why not? You know, uh, sure. Um, yeah, no, definitely want a three point hitch just in case us markings. Uh, GPS, sure. The super up to 692. Uh, skinnier tracks. I actually like those better. I like the skinnier tracks. This isn't quite the modded one I was thinking it was, but this is still a pretty good one. I believe. Okay, we'll buy that too. $700,000. And now we're poor. All right. <laughs> so probably what we're going to be doing. Actually, let's take a look here real fast as well in the garage. Just take an overall view of our equipment real fast in case there's anything else I want to get rid of. Like probably this tipper. I'm just going to sell it right out of here. I know I shouldn't do that, but I'm going to. Uh, that corn head, I'm never going to use. Same thing. I know I should take it to the shop. Not going to. And then. Um, yeah, that cedar I'm done using. I probably should have emptied that too, but that's okay. Those other two, I'm going to keep those two, the Vodder Shot and the Great Plains, because those plant corn. We'll keep those for now. Keep all this stuff. I don't need this. Keep the telehandler stuff. That's fine. And then it's just buildings from there. So there we go, guys. We spent all the money. I was hoping to have some money to buy a field, but that's just not going to happen today, boys. So we can do cotton again, though, for sure. We can definitely do cotton again, you know? All right, fire this bad boy up. And I'm assuming the the applicator, the bar, the source, like I said, I have not actually used this case planner. I have not used it. So I'm assuming, hoping, hoping, hoping that it works. It should. It should, it came from Matt, so we should be good. And our cart's hooked up and our lines are hooked up. So that looks good. That looks really good. That should work. So to the uh, the fill point we go. All right. So that's a good way to spend like $2 million, right? And $2 million gone in like, you know, eight minutes or something, nine minutes. <laughs> that's kind of how I play farms them, you know, just. Hey, I'm going to I'm going to spend a lot, but you know what? We're going to get some big equipment. It's going to be worth it. I'm just saying, or hopefully, you know, it ups our seating game quite a bit here. So that is good. Okay. So for right now, I'm actually using the plow on everything. You know what? I do have money though. And we do have a tractor that'll pull the cultivator. I think it's in here. Yeah. This John Deere one. I kind of want to go with the water stud, but it takes, it takes more horsepower and it's smaller. But this one, this one will do. Oh, you know what? Let's be different. Let's be different, you know? 
I don't know if I can pull that one, though, is the problem. This thing's beautiful, though. That thing is beautiful. What else do we have in disc here? Oh, uh, we do. Oh, we have that, too. Yeah. That takes that takes some horsepower, though. Awesome, but takes some horsepower. Uh, let's go with the water or the um, the Borgo. I do have enough money for it. I don't have enough money for a tractor, but our deer should pull it. Barely, probably not at all. That's okay. That's okay. Well, hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. 300, that's $400,000. Wow. And then that's weird. Have you ever noticed that you can make it 425 or 400, but if you just go back out and go back in, it's 480. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just one of them weird things, you know, about, about farms and mods. It's just kind of weird. I think this is a good play though, guys. Combine, cedar, those are the two slow parts. Uh, fertilizing, I don't mind with what I have already. I don't mind that at all. So, I'm pretty happy with that. And then, uh, same thing with, um, well, the cultivator. That's, yeah. It's probably, what is that, actually smaller than the uh, plow that I've been using, but that's okay. I don't want to plow it every time, you know? Oh, come on. I had it. There we go. Get filled up with some uh, seed here, guys, out of our auger wagon that's just sitting here full seed. Seems legit, right? Seems legit. All right, back it around the corner. And go this. Oh, we're going to hit it. Just a smidgey smidge. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'll pull up in here and try to get some fertilizer, but I'm too far away. We'll fix that. Because we're too far away and I don't remember why I cream. Alright, that should be better. I should just have to back it up a little tiny bit and we should be good to go. Look at that, boys. Look at that. And we're full. Put the pipe away. It looks like you could run multiple cards or you could run the card on the front. That's what it looks like to me. I was really hoping to buy some land today. Oh, and it's raining now. I was really hoping to buy some land today, but... Knocked over my hand sanitizer. Whoops. Uh, to get any land, you know, we're, we're way off from any land on this map, honestly, so... As far as actually having enough money currently to uh play we can buy that though. Cost zero dollars. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, 1.1, 1 1.7, 1 you know. I just don't have uh 1.3 million dollars laying around, you know. What 2.1 million, that's where all the trees are at up here. Wow. Alright, so there's that. Uh New Holland. I'm kind of torn on this new Holland, actually. You guys maybe need to let me know. Should we keep or should we sell the new Holland? Because whoop, that's not the right button. Let's put you away, buddy. You've just been sitting out here in the wild blue yonder for a while. I don't even have any grass anymore, man. I like plowed up the grass field. Uh, but the new Holland combine. Let me guy, let me know, guys. Should we keep that or should we sell it off? I put the money towards, you know, land or whatever. Just let me know because I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about the new Holland Combine. I'm very interested. So please let me know in those comments below because I'm thinking sell it because the Tribine, the Tribine is just going to run all over these fields, to be honest. So, like, I might do it manually, at least the first time. I might manually drive, or manually, cough, cough, GPS. I'm a millennial, okay? That's as manual as it gets for me. But uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we will uh, run, her, run her manually that first time. 
Maybe not. Probably will, though. We'll see. All right. I'm literally like I got done with field work the other night, like super late. And uh, yeah, so I need to put everything away. I need to put everything away again. I really need to get better about just doing this. But for some reason, I'm just not good at that. So there is that. And really planting uh, the what's it called the cotton with those two planters right there or cedars it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I'm just saying grab some fuel, put her on in the shed. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. So there's that. All right, tab to the 6M. 6155 am am the good old state one you know 61 yeah that's a good good tractor a really good tractor i actually really like this tractor it's a good chore tractor you know you're raking tedding even bailing all that kind of stuff you know spraying it's a good spray tractor all right park this right here but it's starting to sound like it was for me uh, today in real life. I uh, streamed today, yesterday for you guys, Tuesday, and I had to shut down my stream twice due to thunderstorms. And both times, I think I was under a severe thunderstorm warning. I know I was once. And I'm pretty sure I was the second time, too. This guy had something hooked to him. I just don't know where it's at. Oh, there's that, though. Need to put our plow away. Technically, I call it a disc. I know it looks like a, it leaves the plow texture, but it looks like a disc. So I like to call it a disc. I know it's not in the game, of course, you know, in the game, it's not, but my heart, it is or something like that. I'm just saying. All right. Back, park this in here. Need to leave some room, you know, for drainage or something between our implements. Just saying. Yeah, we got stuff sitting everywhere on this map, don't we? I was just like, I gotta be about done. No. Nope, there's still more. We'll leave the cedar sit there because I don't have a shed for that anyway right now. I'm just saying. Maybe we'll put a pavilion style shed back there for the cedar. That'd be good. Maybe after we, uh, after we make some more cash money, need some cash money, of course. So we'll maybe have to do that. I don't know where else to park it inside of a building, you know, just saying all this stuff's cleaned up out of here. This is all that small equipment. So nice. Having everything cleaned up for once, you know? Just saying. All right, our John Deere tractor fleet. Oh, now we have a case. So the fleet is growing, guys. We got to find a home for this, right? We got to find a home, even if it's in a silage bunker. <laughs> I could actually take. I don't know if I can hook onto that with the tractor back there. Probably not. I was going to say, I could take it apart and back it in the shed that way. That'd be pretty cool. The semi could go in the shed too. I don't know why it's out, to be honest. We'll park this over the pit. There we go. This will keep it dry. This will keep it. Here, we'll park that right there. And we'll drive the tractor through the woods that need to come down. Did I say that out loud? Hmm. And then we'll park our quad track over here on this side. Cause you know, gotta keep the brand separate. I don't want them to fight. You know, if we put them next to each other, they're going to fight. Hey, that boys, we can even close the door. How about that? I don't think we have anything in the shed. We need to use it. Need to use it. You can't open the other end, can you? You can open the other end and we can drive our cedar through here. Oh. 
I didn't know you could do that. I thought it was one end or the other, or just one end. Well, let's get our let's get our tractor in there, our uh, planner. I mean, I'm just saying, right? We might as well. Might as well, boys. Might as well. Oh goodness. Yeah, during our uh, two thunderstorms today, it absolutely downpoured the first time and really part of the second time. It uh, hailed here during the first storm. We haven't had hail in a while. It was small, but still hail. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. So I was pretty happy when it blew over finally. But please just leave us alone, storm jeepers. Just saying, man. It was crazy. All right, now we got cedar storage. In the shed. Hooked up to the tractor, of course, because ain't nobody going to unhook it, you know? Just saying. All right, boys, I think that's uh, pretty well going to wrap her up. I want to say I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you guys think about the, um, where's that? The New E Holland Combine. Let me know what you guys think about that. If we should keep it or sell it. Um, I mean, it's a good combine. Don't get me wrong, but it's a tri bind. We, I don't know if we necessarily need this, you know? So let me know in those comments down below. But thank you guys for watching. Oh, podcast tomorrow. And by the way, on the farm on Sunday, I will get both of them done between now and then. That's what my Wednesday is going to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, a toodles.